lovelies, let's start crafting and make it till our eyes smile. That's what I like to say. We're going to begin by using one of these little wood houses from the 99 cent store and some stencils that I had received from BB Craft. I do paint the front and the sides with some chalk paint. After the paint was fully dry, I got a piece of the stencil, the one I wanted to use, and I just put one on the top corner and then I went and did the opposite corner on the bottom. Now this paint I do get at Dollar Tree. I love this mustardy color, very pretty acrylic paint. And I just dab it on there. And then lift. Once it was dry, I did a few touch-ups. Now I'm going to set it aside and let it dry. Now these letters I did receive from BB Craft also. I love that you get a bunch of different letters and they're in their own little sections. I thought that was really neat. I took K-I-N-D to spell kind and I just painted them with the black acrylic paint. I glued them onto the front of the little house. The ribbon I did get at Dollar Tree and I just wrapped it around. I thought it matched perfectly with the honeycomb pattern. Now these are also from BB Craft. Aren't they gorgeous? They're bees with rhinestones. Absolutely gorgeous, stunning bumblebees. And I thought it looked so pretty. Be kind, right? We're going to begin by using one of these little mason jars signs from the Dollar General. I thought it was so cute and I love what it said. I didn't want to change a thing. So all I did was add some of these Amazon bees to the sign. And oh, it just gave it a cute little touch, right? And then I decided to add some more ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to lift up the tin part of the lid of the jar uh, just a little bit to slide that ribbon in there and then I just add dabs of glue and then pinch the fabric together to kind of give it a little ruffle look. I just trim the ribbon and then glue behind. Oh, I love the way this turned out. Oh. Now these two ribbons I did get at the Dollar Tree also. It has bumblebees on it and it has little honeycombs. And I just thought it just was perfect with the little bumblebees. And glue it right there to the corner of the mason jar. I do glue some of the tail down just so they stay where I want them to stay. I don't like unruly ribbon tails. And then you just trim to how long you want them. And then I decided to get one of those gorgeous BB Craft bumblebees and put it right there in the center of that bow. And voila, done. Aren't these beautiful? And they're so quick. Oh, absolutely love this one. Great for the summer and great for spring. Oh my goodness, so cute. Let your dreams grow. So for this one, we're gonna begin with using some of this. It's kind of like a deco mesh rope and I got this from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna use a little olive can. I love using recyclable things. You know that if you follow my channel, love, love, love it. I think they're my favorite to use <laughs> to make really pretty arrangements. And all I did was just glue it completely around the whole entire can.
And just in the center, I added the little bumblebee ribbon from Dollar Tree with a little bow. Now I got some styrofoam and just cut a little piece to fit inside that can and added some of these beautiful Dollar Tree little flowers. I just cut them all apart and then place them where I want. I didn't even glue in case I ever want to change the floral in it. I do add some moss in the bottom just so you don't see the styrofoam. And it was that simple. Now these little cute little honey sticks I got from Amazon and all I'm going to do is add some hot glue and then I spritz it with cold water so the glue dries quickly and I'm going to paint it with some of that Dollar Tree mustard yellow paint, acrylic paint to make it look like honey. And then I'm going to glue it right inside, just sticking out a little bit of that cute little flower arrangement. I do add one of those BB Craft bumblebees right in the center of the bow. And then one of the little Amazon bumblebees right there on the tip of that honeycomb stick. Is that not sweet? Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Today's video is part of Lini and Catherine's Tear Trade Thursday. It will be every third Thursday of the month. It's where we make tear trays, things for tear trays, or just decorate a tear tray. Isn't that fun? I hope you join us every third Thursday of the month. We're going to begin by using one of these BB Craft plant rounds. They come in different sizes and they're great for different projects, but I love using these for a base for a gnome. So I'm going to put it inside the stocking and then add pebbles, rocks, sand. You can add beans or rice, whatever you like, just for some weight for the gnome. You only need a little bit. And then you fill it up the rest with cotton. As you can tell, this was from an old throw pillow that I had. You can use from old stuffed animals. It is perfect for this also. Once I get it to the size I want, I'm going to push it on in there. And then I'm going to twist my sock. And then I'm going to use twine. And I'm going to wrap it around twice and then make a double knot. You can use little rubber bands if you like, but I choose to use twine or yarn. I make sure it's really nice and tight. And I look at your form and look at what side you would like to be the front. I'm going to get some of this Dollar Tree fabric and I thought it was cute because it had the little white polka dots. So summery looking in spring, right? <laughs> Well, I gather it tightly on the top and around and I'm holding it while I'm pulling just to make sure that it is going to be a tight fit. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to wrap that twine twice around and then double knot. And now I'm going to trim the excess off. But I do leave the neck of the stocking there. I like to do that because it fills up the hat a little bit and I can use less cotton. Now after I'm done trimming, I just go around on the inside with some hot glue around the neck 
and then I pull up to make sure everything is staying in place. Now for the nose, I'm using a large wooden bead and I got those from BB Craft also. And I just put twine right inside that bead and then tied it and double knotted it. I'm gonna add some glue right behind the nose. And there, look at that cute, it has its nose. Now this fabric I got from Walmart. And all I'm gonna do is just cut a triangle, open it up, and I love that I don't have to sew because I don't sew. <laughs> I wish I did. And I just glue one side, fold it over on the bottom because I want it to have a nice rim for his hat. Her hat, I'm making a girl gnome. You can make a boy or a girl or both. And then I just push out that the top of the hat with the chopstick. Now I'm gonna measure and make sure that the hat fits completely around and see where I need to trim it in the back. And then when I see, I just cut trim to fit the size of my gnome. Fill up the hat with some cotton and I'm using that chopstick just to push it all the way to the tip of that hat. Now the seam of your hat, you want it in the back and I'm always measuring, making sure that the seam is in line with the nose in the front. See the seam in the back and there's the nose. I don't know why, but that's just how I, how I always do it. <laughs> now I just add a little bit of glue to the back and then I'm gonna add some to the front where the nose is. And I'm not gonna close the hat until I'm done doing the hair and her little arms. Now for the arms, I'm just gonna take two little strips of fabric and I just, you make them as long as you want and as wide as you want. It is completely up to you. You just put a bead of glue down and then fold it over. And then I glue one end and then I trim. I trim up the excess on the sides and on the bottom of one side. One side you wanna leave open because we're gonna add some cotton in there. It's so much easier if you have a chopstick or you can use a pencil, a pen to push your cotton through. And I love just see how I'm getting both my hands and I roll the cotton in between and it makes it a little bit more easier to go through. Then I get another little piece of the other fabric and I just cut maybe a little square and then I just put it right there on the end of the arm where it was open, where we added the cotton. So now we're just gonna put that material right around there, pinch it, double knot the twine, yarn, rubber band, whichever you wanna use. And then I just trim it where it gives it such a cute little ruffle like a little mitten. And now what I'm doing is I'm getting one of those mops from the Dollar Tree. And man, you can make a lot of gnomes with these mop heads because all you need is three of the strands from that mop. I fold it over in half evenly and then cut it. And that gives me six strands all together. I get some twine and I just tie a double knot on one end for right now and then I do the same thing to the other three
Then I glue each top of the braid and tuck it right underneath the hat next to that nose. And then once it's glued in there to the hat and to the body next to the nose, I braid each of them and then tie them with double knots with some twine. Once they're braided, then I trim each bottom to make sure they're even. And then I glue the hat down some more. Now it's time to add the arms. And we add the arms right next to the hair where the hat is open still and then we glue the hat completely shut I usually like to use ribbon around the rim of the hat but I wanted to try something new today so I got a piece of that cute little polka dot fabric and I started where the seam was and added some glue and then pinched I wanted it to have a cute little ruffle to match the mittens and the body of our cute little gnome girl. Isn't she looking sweet? How adorable. I do add some glue to part of the braid on the bottom and then glue it to the body because I want to make sure that her little braids stay in place. That is totally optional, up to you. Now I grabbed some of those Amazon bumblebees and I got the large bumblebee and put it on the tip of her hat. And then I'm grabbing a medium one and a small one and just added them in different spots. Now I got this cute little headband set from the Dollar Tree and I just removed the little antennas and the wings and I thought it would look so cute on this cute little gnome. I put some glue on the end and then tucked it into the ruffle and I do this to both sides. Now for the wings, all I did was add some more glue and you want the side to see when you're looking straight at the gnome, you want to be able to see the black stripes. So I kind of glued them to the back of the hat and to the body backwards and see how you can see it frontwards. But don't worry about the back because we are going to fix that. I glue it to the hat and to the back of the gnome and then once that's in place, that spot right there we're going to add some ribbon and this ribbon I got from Amazon I will leave the links for you in my description box I love that I had the bees and then this ribbon and the honeycomb ribbon I did purchase at Dollar Tree and oh my goodness they all went so well together and looked so cute So I'm making simple little bows and putting them in the middle. And then the B one, I just crisscrossed a ribbon and put it in the center. After I glued them together, I thought, hmm, it needs something. So I added one of those cute little bumblebees in the center of the bow.
now we're going to glue it right in that one little spot and that was perfect voila so cute look at that isn't she a honey <laughs> So for her hands, I added some glue to each wing of the bee, the bumblebee, and that is from BB Craft. She has to have her bling bumblebee, our little Miss Honey. And now look at that. Oh my gosh, is that not stunning? And now I'm making one more of those little honey sticks, honeycomb sticks, and of course, I add hot glue to it, let it drip, and as it's dripping, I spray cold water on it, and it makes it dry really quick, so I love that. So I get the nice drip that I want. And then I paint it. It needs one more thing, and I'm gonna add a tiny little bumblebee to my little honey stick. And she is done. Oh my gosh, is she not adorable? I love, love, love gnomes. I love making them. I mean, I can make every video with a gnome if I could because they are so cute. I have so much fun when I make them. Well, here's the final look with everything together that we made. Okay, lovelies, I hope you enjoyed what I made today. Please give this video a big thumbs up. I so appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. And if you're new, welcome. Thank you for visiting me today. I hope you subscribe. I really love for you to be part of my crafty Lini World family. And when you do so, don't forget, click that bell and hit all. So YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video. And if you're returning, thank you so much, lovelies, for visiting me again. I adore you. You all are amazing. And if you like Shabby Chic, visit me every Tuesday for Lainey's Shabby Tuesdays. It was my pleasure crafting with you, lovelies. Hugs, kisses, and very just wishes. Be kind. Be kind to yourself and others. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next video.